Hey, well, back to in today's video. It's the weekend forecast. I'm going to have a detailed look at the weather for the coming week. Uh, of course, this takes into the Christmas period, so very exciting to see what uh, could be around the corner for Christmas 2014. The uh, maintenance certainty actually beyond Christmas, the period between Christmas and New Year, has been giving us huge amounts of headaches over the past few uh, days. No near as uh, being certain on exactly what's happening. I think we're probably going to bring some sort of area of road pressure through uh, around Friday, Saturday, Boxing Day into the 27th of December. That could be quite stormy. Uh, so rather than cold weather, actually, it looked like for a while there could be some very cold weather. Rather than cold weather, it could be sort of severe gales uh, that's the main problem and the main focus as we get through to that Christmas to New Year period. But it is very, very uncertain still. Uh, I'll show you the charts in a moment. Before you get on the weekend forecast, just say about the ads. There's links to articles sitting underneath the weather video here on the homepage at gasweblings.com. Have a browse through the widget. Any article take them just in. Just click through. There's green keyword ads on some of the pages. So if you write your cursor over green keywords, they display ads. But if you click through the word, you go to the advertise website. You support gasweblings.com. When you do that, there's yellow weather related contextual ads on most of the pages. So, anything there that you're interested in, click through. And I believe today is the last day to guarantee getting your Christmas shopping uh, from Amazon. So, if you've got any Christmas shopping to do at Amazon, uh, just click through the Amazon banners through the course of today. Uh, go to Amazon, do your Christmas shopping. Uh, at the same time, just gone from Gas Service to Amazon, we get a revenue fee on the things that you're purchasing. As I think today is the final day uh, that can guarantee um, getting your uh, Christmas uh, presents to you. So uh, do that if you want to do some Christmas shopping. Thanks very much for getting involved and doing that. It's been a huge success uh, this year. Um, I'll keep the link uh, to Gas Shop until Christmas Eve and then take it down. But uh, thanks so much, everybody, uh, for getting involved. The uh, websites that we're using for the uh, Week Air Forecast, we've got radar pictures and charts at the end from the weatheroutlook.com and also charts coming from weathercentral.de and by link to those websites on its base. So here's today's radar picture. A great deal going on. A few showers scattered about, particularly in the northwest, but most places are going to be dry today with a fair amount of good sunny spells coming through. Here's today's toxic pressure chart. Got a little ridge of high pressure coming in off the Atlantic, but this area of low pressure to the south of Green is going to be the main driving factor of the weather for the next couple of days. So for the rest of the Saturday, we're looking at a few showers scattered about. Maybe some more general cloud and patchy rain coming into northwest Scotland by this evening. Otherwise, plenty of dry and fine weather, good sunny spells. Uh, really nice day. Temperatures a little bit cooler than we had it uh, uh, last week, but uh, even so, still relatively mild, really not desperately cold. Somewhere between around, say, 3 to 8. So not doing too badly. Can't really grumble at those sort of temperatures. Overnight, we're probably going to bring some cloud and rain into Scotland with this area of low pressure, most of the way up to the west of Scotland and north of the west. Also, quite strong winds uh, developing there. Otherwise, mainly dry from the course of tonight with uh, clear spells. The wind's going to pick up, uh, becoming quite breezy. So uh, we're not going to have to worry about frost. Temperatures down to around 2 or 3 degrees at the lowest. A different day as we move into Sunday. We're going to be tightening the ice bars, first of all. So we are going to have a windier day. Uh, we're also going to be uh, developing cloud from the north and the west. So after a bright start in the south and southeast, I think we'll find cloud spilling down from the northwest. Most places have quite a cloudy day. Uh, really cool sunny. But we'll be bright to sunny to get about to the east of high ground, but generally rather a lot of cloud on Sunday. With outbreaks of rain developing through uh, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England during the day. It will be quite windy up in the north, uh, with perhaps winds going up to gale force around some northern and western coast. But at least it will be milder, so temperatures tomorrow could be up to around 10 degrees in the south. That's 50 Fahrenheit. Moving into uh, Monday, we've got high pressure set up to the south, but low pressure to the north, bringing this flat westerly flow. So it's going to be a mild day. Uh, outbreaks of rain up in the northwest in particular. Generally quite showery in nature, and generally to the west of high ground. But it'll be wetter up in the north. That's going to be the main uh, idea for Monday. Monday outbreaks of showy rain on and off parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland, and particularly coming down to Northern England, actually Scotland might brighten up uh, later on with a few showers. The bog of England and Wales actually stays dry, will be cloudy and windy, uh, winds gusting up to gale force around those southern and western facing coasts uh, through there, but very mild, remarkably mild, with temperatures up to 12 or 13 degrees, 13 is 55 Fahrenheit. Going through into Tuesday, we're bringing another little system down from the northwest, so it's a case of cloud and outbreaks of rain, so that could be quite heavy actually on Tuesday through Scotland, Northern Ireland, 
Northern Ireland and eventually that will come down into Northern England with colder, brighter weather following uh, to Northern Scotland. The bulk of England was again staying dry through the course of Tuesday. Again, rather a lot of cloud round, but there will be sunny spells coming through in the southeast. Temperatures could reach 14 degrees in at the southeast of England on Tuesday afternoon if the sun comes through. That's 57 uh, Fahrenheit, way above average for this time of the year, getting on for around 8 degrees uh, above what you would expect. But then it turns cooler as it goes into Christmas Eve. So on Wednesday, we're going to find that car front clearing uh, south across the country. It'll take a band of mainly light patchy rain from England and Wales first thing on Christmas Eve morning. And then that'll clear away with brighter skies edging down from the north. Could be some showers up in the north. Um, and they could turn wintry for uh, central and northern parts of Scotland. Temperatures will take a tumble. So uh, maximums on uh, Christmas Eve probably starting off quite mild in the south at around 10 degrees. But finishing up somewhere around 3 to 7. Um, overnight Christmas evening to Christmas uh, morning uh, it's going to turn clear and quite cold so uh, Father Christmas will need to wrap up uh, with an extra layer I think not going to be desperately cold but it could be cold enough for some frost uh, first thing on Christmas morning so one or two places could have a nice white uh, nice white start to Christmas day only from frost I have to say that not from snow um, but yeah, it's going to be fairly chilly to start with on uh, Christmas morning with a few uh, frosty patches around. Temperatures down to minus two, something like that, firstly on Christmas morning. Otherwise, Christmas day is looking a nice day, but you've got this rich of high pressure coming in, so plenty of dry and fine weather. There will be showers up in the north. Once you're coming down the eastern coast as well, there could be wintry over higher ground of Scotland, but uh, certainly by no means would it be a universal uh, sort of white Christmas day. Plenty of dry and sunny weather. Um, and temperatures will be some Somewhere around 6 degrees in the south, 6 or 7, in the north around 2 or 3. It'll turn frosty on Christmas night. Uh, it'll be a colder night on Christmas night under this ridge of high pressure, I think, uh, with temperatures possibly going as low as minus 4 or minus 5, first thing, on Boxing Day. And then from Boxing Day onwards, the pattern is getting very uncertain. Lots and lots of uncertainty uh, then. I think we start Boxing Day probably on a very frosty note uh, with sunshine, but cloud and rain extends in from the west. Quite how that happens, how this low pressure comes in, is very uncertain. But it could bring quite a lot of rain into the west. As that comes up against the colder air, it may turn to snow across Scotland and northern England, further south, probably staying uh, as rain. Um, but we're going to keep an eye on it, see how this low pressure develops, because as we go through into Saturday, that could become quite a storm feature uh, across the country. But so much uncertainty about that. It really is impossible to say exactly how uh, the weather from Boxing Day onwards is panning out. Temperatures on Boxing Day will be quite cold, uh, about 2 degrees in the north, about 5 degrees in the south, although probably turning milder in the southwest as that rain arrives. Finally, having a look at the charts from the weather outlook, and here we are for today. Plenty of dry and fine weather across the country with uh, sunny spells. As we go through into uh, Sunday, it'll be a rather cloudy day, but best of any sunshine in the south southeast. Outbreaks of rain in the north and the northwest. Uh, temperatures will be getting a boost, though, become quite mild. And also windy, very mild as we move through into Monday with rain in the northwest, mainly through Northern Ireland and Northern England, turning Brighton a bit cold of Scotland. Very mild down in the south south east. It's showing pretty good sunny spells. I think there'll tend to be more cloud around than this is suggesting. Still rain in the north uh, as we go into Tuesday, mainly dry and very mild down in the south, brighter and colder in the north. Going through into Christmas Eve on Wednesday. We take that to weather from down across the country overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. So Wednesday will be a bright and cold day, or colder day, uh, with perhaps a few wintry showers up in the north. For uh, Christmas Day, this is the chart for Christmas Day. It's looking mostly dry and fine with a fair amount of sunshine. Could be a few wintry showers in the north and the east of Scotland. But it could be cold. It'll be a very cold start. It'll be even colder on Christmas night. And then let's go through into Boxing Day. This is when all the uncertainty is coming through. But after frosty start, probably cloud and rain moving in off the Atlantic. Could be severe gales. There could be snow in the north as well. Boxing Day into Saturday. So it'll be one to keep an eye on. It's so uncertain that I can't really go uh, give you too much detail on it at this stage. But certainly it'll be one to keep an eye on. If you come back to the events page this evening, uh, I'll be doing a full uh, outlook for the whole of Christmas period, starting on Christmas Eve and going through to New Year's Day. So we'll come back for that this evening, see what could be going on then. But in summary for the coming 
week. It's going to be starting off today, fairly chilly, then turning milder, very mild, uh, from Sunday to Tuesday. Cooler on Christmas Eve, mainly dry and fine for Christmas Day, but quite chilly, and then possibly turning wet and stormy from Boxing Day onwards, but very, very uncertain. That's it for now. The next weekend forecast will be on Christmas Eve, which will cover the full Christmas period, so that'll be on Wednesday. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.